to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're going to do something a little bit different than our previous instructional videos. We're going to do OSPF, but I'm going to call this OSPF for babies. I originally wanted to call it OSPF for dummies, but that's probably trademarked. So what is OSPF for babies? Well, these are going to be very short videos, less than five minutes each. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of them, but, you know, that's all right, because hopefully... Since they're five minutes, uh, you, your ADD won't kick in and uh, you won't be doing something else. So we're going to start off with a single router, no loopbacks, just a single router. We're going to graduate to another router, start adding in loopbacks. So we're going to really take this step by step so you can see how the LSAs and how the updates and the hellos work. All right, we've got GNS3 on our screen right now. I'm going to drag in a single router. In my case, it's a 3725. And I'm just going to fire it up by clicking the green play button. And after that started, I'm going to console in. And I'm going to make my fast Ethernet interface 10.10.12.1 slash 24. Okay, so enable, I'm just going to show run, just to make sure I don't have any lingering configurations in there. So I have router 1, we've got fast ethernet, no addresses, and a clean configuration for the most part. Alright, so I'm going to go into ConfT, and I'm going to go router OSPF1. So this will start OSPF, and the process ID is this number right here. Notice that when I hit question mark, I have a wide range of numbers I could use from 1 to 65,535. This is locally significant, so really you could use whatever number you want. Now you notice here you've got an interesting error message here. Cannot pick a router ID, please configure manually or bring up an interface with an IP address. The reason I'm getting this error is because I don't have any interfaces up. So show IP int BR. Nothing is up, everything's down, and there's no IP addresses anywhere. So what OSPF is telling you is, or is telling me, is that, well, dummy, uh, you're trying to start OSPF, but it's not going to do anything. So why even bother? So now I'm going to go into interface fast 00, IP address 10.10.12.1, and give it a slash 24, no shut. And go back into, whoops, conf t, go back into router OSPF, and we'll do router OSPF1. And we don't have an error message, so that's good. Now I'm going to do a network statement, and what this will do is throw the interface fast00 into OSPF. It's going to start sending out OSPF hello packets, and it's also going to be ready to receive OSPF hello packets. I'm going to use this wonderful wildcard. A network statement of all, all zeros, all zeros, area zero. So this is going to throw everything into OSPF. Uh, in our case, I just have one interface. So that's all that's going to be thrown into OSPF. And there you have it. With two lines, OSPF is running. I'll exit out of there. And we could, well, let's show IP int BR just to make sure my interface is up and my interface is up and show IP protocols. Show IP protocols, you could see here that I do have an entry. My router ID is 10.10.12.1, so that's good. I'm routing for all my networks and chucking them all into area zero, and I see myself, so no, that's pretty good. My final thing I want to do, I'm going to show, let's see what I want to do here. Show IP OSPF database. This will show you the database of LSAs, which are link state advertisements. Hit enter right there. And I only know of one link state, one LSA. This is a router LSA. This is, well, this is coming from myself. 10.10.12.1, advertising router 10.10.12.1. Gives me an age in seconds right here. Sequence number of one, meaning this is only changed once. A checksum, this is for some error correction. And link one, that's basically saying this router knows about one OSPF link. And that kind of makes sense because I only have one interface that's available and I don't have any OSPF neighbors. So you probably want to save this topology, save your topology and save your configs because part two is going to add another router. Thanks for watching.